All right, so um, right now we're going to learn about the sun and how um, it has to do with this area here and how it has to do with the uh, crying and yeah, it has to do with a lot of things and um, basically just some things about it and I want you to soak it in and understand it. Um, here's a little diagram about the sun. Um, looking at the sun, you know, it has a face, just like, and um, also, you know, I used a, uh, you know, a little square diagram with some black things for something. To say. And then um, here we have, you know, um, basically looking down at the sun or looking up at it and how there's two different directions. When you look at the sun, there seems to be a reflection here, um, you know, and looking away from it, the eyes here and the mouth is much bigger than the face is here. And it's trying to swallow something or trying to do something, which is what this sun would be doing and also would be you looking and here we have our throat, and it's trying to swallow something, or maybe not, but it has to have some form of dimension here where it can feel. And it seems to be this area here where it feels like a small swallowing would happen. Or uh, maybe just speech. Um, here we have um, these eyes, uh, the eyelids, and I realized that I could look at the sun, and it makes my eyes kind of go like this. while I look at it and um, I think that I need to be able to you know maybe not do that anymore and maybe understand more about it <clears throat> or do it more and then understand about it or whatever and um, then we have you know some up and down arrows here that seems to be part of that when we cry and morbidly eat and how you know we feel like really sad and eating also seems to be like punching and hitting and um, how sadness feels with that as well as happiness um, which is not really that bad of a feeling or good and um, <clears throat> and the note uh which is here kind of below the throat here and it's sort of a fog probably a thick book probably about this thick right up in here just right in this little spot and um, how that feels and it seems to be the voice of the Sun and um, it seems to be the voice of the reflection um, more of that will be explained here um, in very horrible detail. Um, here is um, the ant head pop, and it's just when I was looking at some children and old people, and they both look the same because they kind of float up a little bit, and they don't use the foot grounding. And it seems that I could just take them, and they're like little ants, and I could just pop their heads just by going up to them and probably just probably just poking it, and you know I could just pop their head and squish it you know and, and just do like this and um, that's what it seems like and that's what their body is shaped like and that's what it is saying because I can read it and um, <clears throat> it seems to be like a small piece of air I also went to a Buddhist monastery and Buddhist monk over there at the uh, Terminella um, that lady has a head like that and it's just something I could just easily pop and it looks like another you know lady with you know some guy in there had her as a kid and he's still looking around and you know, avoiding food and tells her to eat all her food and she doesn't eat it all. And she goes, oh, but I'm hungry and I don't want to eat it. You know, you know, it's there and there's a lot of sadness and, you know, it just doesn't look right. It looks regular or it looks regular and looks perfect, but it doesn't. And, um, and here's some other things for you to figure out in your puzzle. Um, we have a uh, chicken nugget plate meal with barbecue and dipping sauce and fried ketchup and the choky puff. And um, basically all these things put together, um, if it was a music video, it would make more sense. But I don't have that much money, and um, I will one day. But you can tell how, you know, the chicken nuggets and that, you know, and the fry feet are, and the fry ketchup with the fry, and you know how that little choky puff, um, which reminds me of the uh, Japanese peach hymy. Now Mario and Luigi is like poof, and then he's like, this is the last one, and then the other one's like poof. And it's like a little puff of air, and it seems to be kind of a throat choke moment when you're like poof. You know, and then the other one's like poof. You know, and it, it shows that that could be your last breath, or it could be a broken moment. Um, it could also be an intact moment. It could also be a cold moment. Um... Anyway, so there's that, and um, how the consistency of, I would probably say, you know, like thick fries, or, you know, how if you eat a lot of fries, or it's just lots of that never-ending, you know, 
really dry fries you know it's really um, not really suitable to eat and just hearing not suitable for children one more time just makes me so angry because you know there is no such thing as children and old people and I, it needs to be said in a different way and it should not be used that way it's very bad because the sun is not used which um, this is basically a manual if it was I'm um, just using spatial knowledge just like I did with that drawing to basically um, put together how to stop death by using basically reading my own life as a instruction manual on something that I would want and then reading that manual and following through and figuring it out and hopefully you know maybe I could change some things and actually make a difference um, here we have um, an acute angle this is the throat kind of choking up in the head this is a little area where um, it's a little ghost from over battle. It's kind of like, you know, like, when I'm like this, and like, uh, and there's this little part here that kind of talks like this, you know, and it sounds like how it would sound, you know, this is a little Kimmy, and this is her, 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 and Oh, well, I'm so happy to be here, and I just wanted all of you to know. You know, those types of things have to be expressing, and it just seems to have to do with the throat here, you know, and how that kind of um, <clears throat> is like um, a choking part of your throat, where there's like an up part and a down part, and it's a little bit different. Here we have um, <clears throat> uh, basically, you know, what it feels like. Um, just being crying or whatever that is that is stimulating that <sighs> puff and um you can see how you know here's a head up here that's like <laughs> you know which is kind of going on while something is going on and then this lower part you know seems to be the exact same thing which is just someone you know basically just popping a pill Ah, uh, feed more. Bop, bop, bop. Every time the mouth is open, something goes in it. Every time the mouth is open, a vitamin goes in it. Probably vitamin D. Probably vitamin B. Probably vitamin C. Probably pill. Probably, you know, whatever the medication would be. But having short hair, you know, it's easier to notice. And, um, well, anyway, it's, um, basically an irregularity and it's where. You can look at every single person and survey them and you know, how the throat here could feel like it is drooling and how you could touch this and you could see the thoughts of drooling and how that would be running down the um, chin here and how it would just be kind of empty here and oh, 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 would be a constant thing going on when it's not working properly. And... Um, <clears throat> You know, just to see someone come up and, whoa, you know, to someone, you know, or gets kind of scared and eases and, you know, gets scared and then puts something in someone's mouth um, is commonplace if something is also working or not. <laughs> working or not. It's obviously working. It's obviously not working. And um, here we have uh, the sound. <laughs> I was gonna. And it's just kind of something that is kind of constant here with morbid eating or morbid fisting or just morbid, you know, kind of punching here or just handing or whatever it would be, you know. And um, and then melty plastic, which is just basically this part here. And it's just uh, kind of a puzzle for you to understand. Here's a bib with an underline that would kind of describe it. And the body parts here, which are just kind of floating in midair because uh, the body is basically symbolizing the sun and is basically avoiding it. And the uh, heat from the sun seems to be melting it. But it's not you looking at the sun, which would actually fix that. Uh, or you could just look at it another way and probably maybe that would be how the sun would need to feel in order to understand. Uh, but basically it's just to have to do the drooling and have the uh, melting effect of things being looked at can actually leave an imprint and it has to have a looking away or some form of you know when something's looking this way something has to push it back 
you know, for every other force, there must be an opposite force in order for there to be, what? Probably just some form of viewing. <clears throat> um, also, the acute angle for the throat, and how it's bent like this, and it could be up like this, you know, seems to be something that has to do with crying. And um, also, you know, if that little flex can actually fully work, then, you know, I'll throw in, you know, probably just the ability to maybe have me make a song that could stimulate that area instead of not, which I have never been able to. Um, <clears throat> okay, so next part is basically the finished product and how it would feel. Um, here we have, you know, the sun going through or just a view or basically some form of perception. Uh, which is another form of, I guess you could say, light. It probably is light or darkness or, you know, some form of thing. You know, you can feel when someone looks at you. And you can feel when someone talks at you. And you can feel when someone moves at you. And um, basically, it's just how that would be opened up. And how basically, it's almost like, you know, um, well, probably a full relaxed stretch with the feet up in the air. You know, probably in some kind of nice pose or something that would feel like it would be in a good position instead of it be clamped in an area. You know, for example, you know, uh, this is kind of like a, a body position. You know, if someone's like this and they're like, ah, I just can't take my leg and put it up. And then, you know, someone can and someone can't. And then they're like, well, I'll just leave mine here, but I tried. And then someone can like, you know, lift their leg all the way up, or lift their other one all the way up. And you can just see how that um, would really cripple someone since people think about things for a long time and it's very unhealthy to do that or it's very healthy to do that. And um, or it's just very, you know, kind of, I don't know, probably needs some other language to explain it. Um, here's the next part and this says the sun has a voice and that was just explaining that part of how to use it. <sighs> it and um, seen my throat eyes. And here we have, you know, the back of the throat, and then we have the saliva glands, and then we have the nose up here. And all of these are eyes that need to be understood, and we can use our lungs to understand that. And um, just as we intake air, um, we can see how it kind of drops down and goes into our throat and is absorbed into these air tanks down here. That kind of are air tanks. <laughs> you know, for you people who don't like more takes. And, um... <clears throat> When, you know, you breathe and it goes in here, um, you can take your finger, too. Uh, oh, 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 oh. That part um, is a very strong sensation. And it's probably going to be, you know, we'll have to understand to become, you know, someone like the Super Saiyan. Someone who can actually be one. And that could actually use some form of uh, thrusting force. There's a lot of force that goes into vomiting as well as that area there. And it needs to be understood and studied instead of completely left abandoned. That's what I have used with my research. And um, so, <clears throat> uh, failure. Um, basically, you know, the saliva going down and swallowing. And how that pressure, you know, is also has to do with viewing and light. You know, that could probably come off of the sun or something. Um, has a flow and has an airflow. We breathe all day. You know, we breathe through our nose as well as our mouth. And, you know, that has to be used, this area. And, um, you know, choking up and listening to come, <laughs> you know, has a little bit of a, you know, knock back there. And then we have, you know, a little visual of a uh, look away or be seen. And basically, you know, like some kind of pie chart with the sun. And basically how, you know, um, looking away from the sun or looking directly at it um, really has a different thing. And especially mooning the sun, which people probably have not tried. Um, but it seems to be something that would have to be done at some point and really understood. How can I use the point of view, which is the sun and all of its light, by using the pressure of how light and bright it is? Sort of like when you drink lots of alcohol and then go to a sleepy bed. And then you wake up and you're like, man, that's really like strong light. You know, how does that affect me? It clamps my eyes, so it must move muscles. So it must be some kind of force that could be used. And um, <clears throat> then we have this next part, which is um, to truly sing from the cry. 
And um, here's a hand, and it has a uh, sweat, sweat, sweat. And it's just basically how, um, you know, I didn't really finish this diagram, and how, you know, looking away in all different directions, you know, if I'm facing this direction, this direction, this direction, it's all around a circle, and the sun is up above me or in any direction up here, you know, in relative view, -ing. Um, it seems that um, that would be a little spot, you know, where I would actually have to be able to see. And, you know, using our head there as a little spirally thing probably is not useful since it doesn't do anything. Okay, so, um, anyway, so this sweat in this corner here, which has to do with these two corners on our hands, when we go like this, you know, we have this area here and we have this area here. This is also kind of a, a directional thing. This goes out this way, this kind of goes up some, and it feels like money and coins. And um, here we have concentrated sweat. And you can take your hand and go like this if you're really sweating and working really hard, you know. And you can see how that would feel. And um, you can see how it feels with a penny. You can see how that penny is flat there, you know, where the penny is. And um, you can see how, you know, this hand here you know, can feel that area and how it feels. And you can see how it runs across it like glaze of, basically this is instructions that tells me how that uh, the sweat can actually feel a little bit different. When this lines up and it starts to sweat, it does make a line crease just in that area. All the other areas of the body do not have that form. These do not have that form. But if you apply the math of this and use it with your body, using your body, you could probably get rid of wrinkles as well as use them properly, probably by using the math of this hand and that, which would take a little bit more than yoga, because yoga has to do with toe gunk, which has to do with tasting your feet and just public morbid eating. <clears throat> Black Chinese people probably don't look that conspicuous, and it looks wise to be Asian looking, but being like us looking and doing that, it looks completely stupid. <clears throat> And that's because we need to learn more. So what I thought was yoga and what we all think was yoga actually is just some stupid way to just consume dirt. And it has nothing to do with actually using these things that are needed now that they all understand is basically something we'd have to understand using, you know, position and, you know, at the same time. It's not simultaneous because it has to have a pressure and an opposite force. It has to have you know, a 3D type of thing instead of like almost finished type of thing. You know, someone's looking away and not looking while someone is also not finished, you know, and then they have to talk to each other. We're still at that part, you know, where people can finish something. And I think that it should just be able to be finished. <clears throat> So, um, a penny's consistency, which I just said, is a penny and its consistency. And um, then we also have um, to see with the penny line. I also have, you know, maybe a little bit of some understanding about, uh, you know, penny on the line. You know that Cory Gunn song or whatever. <sighs> Master lifeline, open close, keeping. Not penny, but can do that. This is just the face and how it has all these wrinkles and what I just explained is how this face will be all old and babbage and you know, probably punched a lot by eating lots of food and you know probably eating a lot here with a hand mechanism or maybe one of those jackets with the whole cold fingers, you know, cold day and then he's got his, you know, jacket and he's eating crumbs, you know, and it, his hand, you know, is just kind of like wavering around and, you know, it's kind of... You know, and um, so let's continue. Let's go. And um, this last part is just uh, basically about uh, the sun and about um, this is the breeze and how uh, the breeze can just kind of push things along. It has to do with the roads and has to do with canyons, it has to do with the person eating food. Um, basically, this is just explaining it again. Um, 
It was just kind of how someone could sit there and morbidly eat. And, uh, you know, here I look some weights. And then, you know, just how morbid eating, you know, being really sad and watching. Probably not a professor again. You know, it's really sad and, you know, I cry a lot and puff, 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 you know. You know, and that's supposed to be attractive. That's how people are, have been having sex and copulating a long time. And it's not something you can hide because it's it has simultaneousness with it. It's what you call the same equation. It's like this equals this. It's the same thing as this. You know, it's like, you know, it's what you call the metaphor. But it'd have to be equal. It'd have to be the same thing. I just don't think it would be called a metaphor either. I just want to come up with more stuff. So, um, so eating here requires, you know, these legs to be up in this position while the eating is happening. And the head will be down here like this while it is eating and also up this at the same point. It's also one person, but it seems like there would also be two people in order to have a conversation. Because when someone's eating, you know, they'd be, I'm relaxed here and this is how I feel. And then also would be down here and say, well, when I am down and like this and my eyes are closed, I feel like this or open or whatever. And this would be me eating is I have to eat simultaneously like this and like this in order to have the effect of me eating. And it seems to have to do with all of that because the mouth opened and how it could take the pill and all the stuff I talked about and how that would be reversed by understanding that. And it would be basically that you could look at the sun or look at another person and any point of view, anything that can look at you that you can look at, or your reflection. And um, <clears throat> then we have um, basically how, you know, that would be basically like some melted ice cream or a turd. Now the wind would blow it over and it would not be able to continue or penetrate or be able to, you know, basically um, be able to touch a surface and be felt, which would be like something that goes in a direction but does not have a feeling force or a countering force, so it would be more like something being dropped or lost, or dropped and found, as would you say. <clears throat> and um, the next thing found is found. So, um, okay, so, you know, um, here's another part. Here's another part. You know, um, here's a person standing, and it just has to do with um, exactly, probably something else, or the same thing, or whatever. Here's two thirds and one third, and here's your, you know, butt moon sun, and here is basically where we're at now. You know, it's someone in a permanent spot has uh, two different sides here. Looks a little bit different than this. Here's the top here. You can see how that is. You can also see how, you know, um, you know, basically how, you know, kind of I looking this way, I looking this way. You know, looking away from something. How people in public are. How they kind of look in one spot and they won't look at a certain spot, which is the sun looking at them. I mean, if you really think about it, the person who's viewing probably is the sun. It has more to say. It's just the brightest thing. And um, that it is basically something you need to understand and study. And but and um, the next part, um, and I thought the sun hurts eyes. Penny, how do you light the sun? And um, this is just a little diagram and it has to do with uh, hand. And this is Spanier Cable Line Steve Irwin. It's just some math about Steve Irwin. If you had to have his hair parted and it was always like that, how would it feel? How the symmetrical in the sub it is? How it's not very comfortable and how, you know, basically being like this all the time looks kind of weird and it's really small and flangy on the ends. And also, you know, being like that all the time and having it perfectly parted like that looks really good. You know, I'm sure it does. I'm sure it looks great parted. You know, but when it is parted like that, you know, you could actually look at Steve Irwin and line it up. And, um, you know, if the sun was up here and holding this down like this is really the sun, you know, you listen to any music that's, you know, especially like, you know, hip hop. And I mean, you can't even look up because it's like this, you know, and um, <clears throat> has to do, you know, with the two thirds, one third and viewing and, you know, not being able to look at a spot it has to do with submission and domination obviously or maybe not or which has to do with maybe pink or something and then here we have um basically the cable line which i was talking about it's just his hair how it's kind of parted in the middle and how it could um you know he got stung you know uh if he died 
and um, <clears throat> you know just how that kind of has to do with everything. Spanish is a language, and um, hurts eyes cannot talk to sun. Penny, I do like the sun, and just how you know it's just a physic about it. And you just have to think about a cable kind of going through you know a area. Yeah, and um, and then this little next part. <clears throat>